Let's play a game. Quick, count all the screens in this PC. If you said six, you missed almost half of them. But don't feel bad. You had no way of knowing just how many products you can get with a screen on them these days. And neither did we when we started sourcing parts for this build. A screen on every fan? Why? More like, why not? You can use them to show temperatures, CPU load, FPS graphs, your Twitch chat on the side of your case, anyone? You can even use all your screens to show your friends that you've got more money than brains because you're paying extra money for parts that consume precious CPU cycles, not making your games run faster, but making your memes danker. Guys, we are not even going to pretend that this is a build you should replicate, even aside from the cost and the worst performance. Getting all the different softwares to work nicely with each other was somehow even worse than we expected. But it's definitely a video you should watch closely, just like you should watch closely to see which Linus is doing the segue to our sponsor. Cable Mod, their new Stealth Sense cables eliminate the need for sense wires, which means no more fragile pins in your cables that will bend if you insult them one time. Learn more at the link in the description or at the end of this video. Selecting the motherboard was more challenging than you'd think because these ones seem like the clear winners. I mean, they've got screens on them already. The issue is that they lack one thing that our all screen PC simply cannot live without. And to get that, we needed the Z790 Steel Legend from ASRock, which was chosen solely for this. It's embedded display port or EDP connector. With this mama jama, we don't have to settle for a little two inch screen, even though my wife says that that's plenty. Instead, we get to hook up this 13.3 inch monstrosity, a side panel kit from ASRock that is specifically meant for mounting inside the case and, you guessed it, connecting to that header. Let me think here. You know what? We'll get to that later. First, we've gone with Intel's 13900K since, well, A, 14th gen isn't much faster, and B, we started this project like a year ago. It's been a real nightmare to get working, and we just don't want to change anything at this point. Realistically, we could go with a 14900K. That wouldn't be a problem, but what we couldn't do is go with a KF variant since the built-in graphics are absolutely necessary to drive all the displays that we're gonna have connected to this thing. For RAM, we're using two 16 gig sticks, of course, our Vengeance low profile DDR5, more on that decision later. And for our boot drive, we've gone with the tried and true crew the tried and true crucial P3 Plus, mainly because there aren't any M.2 drives that have screens on them. At least not yet. With that boring stuff out of the way, now we get to kick things up a notch with the Height Y70 Touch. That's right, my friends, one internal screen wasn't enough for us, so we picked a case that has an integrated touch screen. That's right, 14 inches, 1100 by 3840 resolution at 60 hertz. I mean, that should be pretty good for Twitch chat, right? Or kick. And the case itself has really solid airflow and plenty of room to work in alongside a pre-installed vertical GPU mounting bracket that we will not be using. Why? Well, <laughs> how would we see the screen on our GPU once we've got this screen sitting right here? So instead, we've actually had our fabricator, Justin, rig up a new mount that's gonna move our GPU, what, Elijah, all the way over here? Yeah, it's gonna be vertical. Oh, that's gonna be so cool! Now. We considered going with the iBuy Power Snowblind. That's pretty cool. It's got the side panel with like kind of a transparent LCD integrated into it. But we've looked at that before and we felt the color wasn't. This is a brighter screen. You'll be able to see it easier. Yeah, not fun enough. That also ended up being the reason we went with the Aorus P1280 Plus Platinum Power Supply from Gigabyte. Now, ASUS does have those Thor units that do have a wattage readup, good quality units built by Seasonic, but we felt that Gigabyte screen was just plain cooler. It cost us some compromises. Cable Mod currently doesn't support these units, so we're gonna be stuck with the stock cables that are gonna be a little long for our needs and going to get in the way, but uh, hey, 
Totally worth it, right, Elijah? Yeah, it was a pain in the ass. Positivity, come on. It's great, I love it. One small thing. This is how it goes in? Yes, oh, well, no, the screen's the other side. I know. Yeah. Well, no, it can't go this way because this is the intake. But you wanna see the screen. We can't have the intake against the motherboard tray. We're not even gonna see this screen. Guys, we're not even halfway through this build. And I can't help but think to myself, like, what are they doing here? All I can think of is desperation. Like, don't have more performance than the competition? Put a screen on it. Don't have better product support than the competition? Put a screen on it. I... <laughs> that was a heavy slap. Well, me. how else are you gonna get the screen to stay? Stop, you're gonna break it. I worked so hard. Linus, please, stop. If you thought you weren't gonna get trolled in this role, you gotta <laughs> temper your expectations. That was a good one. Are you proud of it? I wouldn't. <laughs> I can't wait for the comments on this video to build stupid. <laughs> it's like, yes, we're aware. <laughs> With that said, these Unifan TL LCD fans from Lee and Lee, they might have kind of won me over, man. They're pretty sweet. Each of the 1.6 inch displays on their fan hubs runs at 400 by 400 pixels, meaning they should look pretty good, right? So cool. And we're gonna be connecting them to an Asus ROG Ryujin 2 360, which has its own 320 by 240 display that needs its own USB 3 header. Wait, this isn't a USB 3 header. This is just a USB 3 to USB 2 header adapter. This oh, only well, uses USB 2. We ran out of USB 2s, ah. so we just gave it its own USB 3. I see. Yeah. Yeah, and we'll talk more about the hub later. Buy a retro screwdriver, lttstore.com. Speaking of the orientation, are we even gonna see these screens, dude? If you look like underneath, yes. Because we have other screens later we'll talk about that are gonna get mounted at the top here. So we're gonna have this as an intake? Uh, no, it exhaust. It doesn't though. Why? Because then we wouldn't see the screens. In order for it to exhaust, we have to put it on like that. Uh, then yes, it's gonna be an intake. <laughs> these are cool. They've got these pogo pin connectors, so you only have to plug in one of the fans and boom, all plugged in. Then we just take the whole block of them and plug it into the hub. Wow, you can connect up to four blocks of devices to this thing. And this will do both RGB and LCD products is my understanding. Yes, and that's why we actually need the six pin PCIe power. What? The moment when fans are drawing more power than some graphics cards did 10 years ago. Okay, I like this case. Everything's kind of toolless and kind of easy to use. We'll just pop this bad boy in here, right? Uh, actually, can we move it over a little bit more? We have some other things that we're gonna mount. Uh, no, we can't. Cool, then we're gonna go here. <laughs> it just, it doesn't fit with this bracket. Oh, yes it does, you have to bend the bracket. There oh my go. God. Wanna go ahead and screw it up, in? I always screw it up, dude. That's what my mother tells me. Is she friends with mine? Time to goop it. Is this the right orientation or can you just flip it in software? Uh, you can flip it in, I had it vertical. The screen. You had screen. it vertical? Yes, I had it like that. Oh, interesting. Now we get to do the wiring for our displays. Uh, we'll start with the EDP cable. We actually got a B-roll shot of me plugging in this side of it earlier. You do wanna be really careful with these. They aren't fragile per se, but they are easy to break. And then we're just going to leave the other end of it kind of here. Let's do all our front panel connectors, I guess. Yep. Love these capacitors just kind of hanging out on this 24 pin. Yeah, it helps with ripple. I wonder if that's why Cable Mod hasn't made custom cables that's yet. Probably a significant part of it, yeah. Now, because some of our displays and hubs connect through USB, and our board only has a single USB 2 header there, we'll be using this really cool powered internal USB hub that has a combination of headers I see that. And USB-A ports, so you can connect friggin' whatever you want. Throw your Xbox wireless dongle in there, a little Bluetooth connector, plug in all your you know stupid fan controller nonsense, and it all goes through a single header. These were a lifesaver back in the day when they first came out. Uh, where do you want to mount this bad boy? It's just gonna get thrown in the back. Oh, so disappointed. Yep, but before we plug it in though, we need to plug in this breakout cable. Right on the motherboard side. Wait, what? Okay, one of our devices will not work through the hub. So instead, we have to take, as you can see, the USB header here is actually 
two USB ports. There's your four conductors for one, there's your four conductors for the other. What's funny about this breakout cable is that it's got all nine pins on the other side, but only four of them can be active. So I guess we just need to be careful of the orientation when we plug everything in, yes. but that's all fine. The point is one device is gonna plug directly into the header and the rest is gonna plug into this hub, which is plugged into the other side. And which device is that? Uh, the device that plugs into the header is a RAM screen. Oh my god. Oh, I'm glad it was something really important. Yes, sir. The Pacific R2 Ultra Memory LCD Monitor Kit. Memory not included. Detachable 3.9 inch LCD display support DDR4 memory module. Yes. <sighs> and I guess that's why we needed the low profile RAM. 100%. I think this is compatible with most RAM kits, but just to be safe, we got a low profile. Okay. You're probably also wondering, how does it attach to this? Sure. Yeah, double-sided tape. All righty. There's no way. Well, I don't believe you. It came with a sticky pad, but because I tried building this so many times, the sticky pad wore out. So we need to use tape. One small detail, Elijah. We're plugging in all of the front panel nonsense. This does not plug into the other side of that breakout. This would have to go into one of the A ports on the hub. Okay, so you just grabbed the front panel USB 2 connector off of a case. Yes, sir. Trust the science. Ingenuitive. That's a long cable. Man, I could run this RAM LCD friggin' on my brain RAM. Report no operation. All right. Wanna make sure it's straight, you know? Yeah, because it matters. Yeah, it does. We want this. We still want the computer to look good. No, I mean, the alignment of the tape doesn't oh. matter. The alignment of this matters. Uh, oh, no, no. So you're going to want to not plug that in because we're oh, going to want to route it nicely. the other end. Mm-hmm. Oh, stop. What is that sound? Don't, don't do it again. Well, you want to know what it was. No, I... This is great. Normally, it's the Zoomers bothering Linus. Uno reverse. Let's go. What's Uno? <laughs> There you go, that's installed. Look at that. So much screen no, no, don't move it. Point. Don't move it. Now let's power the CPU screen. It gets its own dedicated SATA. Seriously? Yes, because it needs this hub because it comes out of a USB-B. So we're using the hub as basically a power converter. <laughs> Just for the screen. Yes. Genius. With all the USB hubbery plugged in, we went ahead and attached our four PCIe 8 pin to 16 pin connector right here and a much longer PCIe extension, which means it's finally time to get to the GPU. Justin's brackets here really show off the 800 by 216 screen on Colorful's Vulcan 4090 which is, wait, where the hell is the screen? It is right here. It uses like pogo pins. Oh, wow. Innovation. First things first, we need to attach the bracket that Justin printed. It goes on the bottom. I left the screws already in there. Sick. But we'll just screw through that and that helps give it support while it's in the vertical mo mount here. Mm. 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 Good old Justin. You probably didn't know that he was with us, but that's okay because he's just in. So, okay. We're, no, stop. We're gonna, okay, we need this first, and you need to come in from this side. Yes, but let's plug this in first. Let's. Okay, no. I'm at my breaking point. Oh, all right. I'll see you in 15. Okay, then it sits on an angle. What? Just for now. Okay. We then plug in all our displays and pop it up into position. Perfect. Flawless. Now hold on just a gosh darn minute here. You have an HDMI splitter involved? Correct. We're using these EK screens. They're actually 1080p screens. They're actually really good quality. We're gonna mount them near the top here. The reason we're using an HDMI splitter is when we first started this build, we had a bunch of different screens and in order to get even these two to work, we just split them. What is the point of these screens? What, why does EK even make these? The marketing material for these screens, it shows like your water temperatures or the flow rate and everything. Realistically though, they're just displays. Okay. <laughs> Does this have two HDMI ports on it? No, it has one. That's why we have a splitter. Wait, you just have six foot HDMI cables <laughs> that you're just running internally in the case? Well, yeah, not in the back panel. You won't see them. This project's been in the works for a year. We're not asking anymore. <laughs> changed hands between writers, I think three times. Correct. <laughs> I am writer number three, and I'm pushing it across the finish line. I think the term is towing. Yeah. Okay. 
I can't wait to see the finished product though. It looks really good once it's all together and then just never open the back panel. Go ahead, I'll hold it, you screw. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, that's not threaded in there. <laughs> nope, it's more just to hold it. But doesn't yeah. it look good there? It looks so good. It looks really good there. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the plan for this though? What? Yeah. Oh. Because we're gonna have the screen here. Right, 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 right. Okay. Just put a screen on it. You said it earlier. Good. Don't have the best looks, add a screen. There, solved. That looks sick, right? It's kind of coming together. Yeah. I like the GPU mounted this way. It looks really good. And lots of access to fresh air. Like this is awesome. Outside screen uses DisplayPort. So gonna run this bad boy. Ah, uh, yes, okay, I got you. It's already plugged in. Out it comes. And then we just leave the vestigial cable in there, yep. apparently. Because you're looking at the screens, it's fine. But for these screens, how they're mounting, we ran the cables up to the corner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Justin mm -hmm, also whipped mm -hmm. up these 3D printed brackets. Sick. And that's what's gonna go kind of beside the radiator. We're gonna screw them up here like this, mount the screen th on this side, uh -huh. and they'll just be displaying in the front. Okay. The dank memes, dude. These screws do not screw in at all. Like, you know that, right? Yes, they do. Mine's screwed in. So it's clearly a skill issue. Okay, go for it. Okay. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, done. Whoa. Boom, done. Why did these go in? What is happening right now? Okay, that one's gone. Cool, we got two of four. That's good enough. They see, though, the ones you put in are out. <laughs> no, stop moving stop. it. It was, it, let me just stop moving it. Oh, crap, dude. It still doesn't go straight, dude. Yeah, it never did. Oh. Oh. You didn't make that clear. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we, were... we were trying to get this straight the whole time. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. All right, it's kind of aligned, actually. Yeah. It's not terrible. Wow. Oh, just wow. Oh, wow. This is the mount for this? Correct. Huh. I mean, yeah. Wow. Just needs to hold it long enough for the shoot. Oh my God, there's so many. Uh, when you get 10 foot HDMI cables because you think it's funny and you'll have the range, you start to regret it very quickly. I had this closed once. I can do it again. I'm just eyeballing this. You can All put right. it anywhere you want as long as it's on the bottom. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to put it down fast. Can you stop saying it looks good? It's not good, it's not done. Not in the right spot at all. It's all coming apart. How am I supposed to hold this? Here. No, I can do it. Okay, then don't get upset. Ah! <laughs> Please, we already broke one screen. We did? What screen? Uh, another one of these. We had two of them already, so I just grabbed the other one. Oh, uh, okay. But what doesn't kill you doesn't hurt you. No. What? There's a little bad boy in there, and then, uh, I don't know. Sure. Cool. Oh. And good enough. Ready? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if my heart Woo! can take this. That's a lot of screens, boys! Woo! <laughs> we need to plug in the HDMI splitter as well. <laughs> Comes out the back of the computer case. All right. Oh, oh, man, we got some screens. As a heads up, we need to boot it twice. Minus 30 degree liquid. The software hasn't loaded yet. I see. And so that's their default. Yes. Uh, it. Yes. Makes perfect sense. Well, it's letting you know your computer's good. Why do we need to boot it twice? Because this screen will never ever work on the first boot. Don't know why. I I tried booting this thing like a hundred times. And I right, but you only tried the first boot once. The other 99 wouldn't have been the first boot. Oh, it is booting. We put me past post. Okay, this so- This is our primary screen now, boys. So it boys. does boot on the first time. The computer boots, but that screen will never work oh, on the first try. Yes. Touch me, feel me, peel me. That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Sure. Oh, uh, wait, what? What just happened? I left the peel for you because I thought it would come off. <laughs> you know, Elias, that's why you never peel. Yeah, okay, <laughs> I get it. Go on, go on, get. That's a valid criticism. No, it's not. Okay. Yeah, I just got to reboot it real quick. Here. Correct. Oh, hey, whoa, hey, look, the big screen works. Nice. I'm gaming, boys. Wow, okay, so I go up the top of this one, oh. and that comes out on these ones, which are mirrored. Why are they mirrored, Elijah? Okay, again, when we had more screens planned, yeah. we wanted to mirror these ones just so we could have as many screens as possible. I see. As I started taking screens out, I had enough ports. But now you have two extra ports off the GPU, so you could actually run 
like another display on the outside mm. if you chose to. Why would I do that? Excellent question. I've got my screen right here. Oh, I agree. You, that 1080p 60 hertz. Dedicated. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at this. We're so close. Don't look. You, this is cool. Oh, it's, oh, it's better if you don't. It's better oh, if you don't. Lord. Oh, get the power supply screen. It's totally worth it's upside. It's upside down. <laughs> I mean, pretty cool though. I actually really like the quality of the screen. Yeah, that looks great. Dang. Okay. Yep. Right? <laughs> I cannot. Oh, yeah. Hold on. We just gotta relieve some tension. Oh. Nice. Don't. <laughs> Oh my god, it's bulging. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, holy crap. It's like a Tesla. With these panel gaps, we should call it the model Y. <laughs> but where's the mouse? I didn't say get rid of the mouse. Oh. Screen on the mouse, baby. No way. Yeah. So you can play PUBG on your mouse? No, you can just have an image of PUBG on your mouse. <laughs> You can't actually do anything other than PNGs. The J500 Display Screen Gaming Mouse. At least they know who they're after. Like, that's it. Display Screen Gaming Mouse. That's what it is. That's what it does. Everything else is just bonus. Oh, wow. This does not look nearly as good as the image on the box. The lights aren't on. Yeah, but dude, it's like freaking half an inch in there. This makes it look like it's right on the surface. Oh, wow. It's really clearly Photoshopped. There's like a border there. Where's my Logitech G15? Uh, no, I don't have a Logitech one. Oh, oh. It's got one tiny little OLED baby right in the corner. Okay. I mean, I guess we'll settle for it. It's not that cool one with like the whole screen behind the whole thing. That's not out yet, right? Okay, well now, hold on a second. Are all the screens working so Oh yeah, this one's yep. working. There That's we so go. That's good. Much better. Wow. Are we able to align everything? Oh, 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 hi. Okay. Can I there do control? Go. Oh, 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 hi, kitty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the stock ones Thermal Take had. Did right. the GPU software work on this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's up. Cool. That's doing stuff. Awesome. Okay. Do I need to open it and reconfigure it or iGame Center, I guess? Yeah, that would be the iGame Center. That's okay. where you could customize whatever you want on it. Oh. There it is. Okay. Well, that's the thing we did. We have all the screens on the inside. You know, yeah. they're all powered on, displaying wallpaper. Yes. You want more screens? I guess. Cool. Elgato makes all the stream decks. And I've customized every single image on these for when we plug them in. We need as many screens as possible. Why did I even need a keyboard at that point? We debated on that. I didn't want to remap the entire keyboard to a stream deck. <laughs> I was too worried I'd miss something critical. Oh yeah, the mouse has a screen on it. Did you check it out yet? No. Now that it's loaded? Wow, what a surprise. You know, the quality of the screen is really good. Yeah, it's actually a really good screen. I'm kind of impressed. I look good. You're a pro streamer now, Linus. How much you want to bet it's just covered in Linus faces? It's oh, not. No, it's not, no. wow. Uh, Some creativity, good job. Yeah. If you boot hardware info, this will actually give us hardware info stats. Will it launch hardware info if it's not launched? Nope. Okay, nope. That's too much task. It's on one How of the screens. How am I supposed to find my mouse? Shake it around a bunch. There okay, you go. Okay, there it is. See, look. Got little stats. Wow, that's so cute. So why did we cheap out and not put it inside? You saw how much we struggled with the other screens. <laughs> this is true. Are these dedicated emoji keys? Teams actually has a pack on the Elgato website. They don't do anything integrated with Teams. <laughs> but they're really cute. But you could just, you just type an emoji? Oh, oh no, no, I just made them folders, but oh. <laughs> I didn't, do you want to pay me two hours to script each one to type something? <laughs> two hours? It would take a long yeah, time because right. you have to do one key at a time. One of them does open a secret though. It is pretty good. If I had to guess, I would say the secret one is the dinosaur and it opens lctstore.com. It's supposed to. With this, this brings our total to over 90 screens. All right, now it's time for Wallpaper Engine then? That, yeah, that's running right now, but you can see the other presets I saved. All right. Might take a second. <laughs> you didn't do anything on this one. Oh, oh there no. it is. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, nine cat. Oh, wow, this is, a, this is a computer. Oh my God, this has a parallax effect, so the cat kind of looks at your cursor. <laughs> that is oh, cursed, dude. Wait a second, what about the fan screens? So, since they're still pre-production, 
The software wasn't up and working when I tested this, but Lee and Lee did email me this morning with new software we oh, can no try. Oh, no way. So, let's go. Wait, how are we even supposed to see them? I mean, yeah, they're in there. They're working. Hold on, I'll have to, I'll have to turn this around so you can even see it, Andrew. El Connect! What I really want to know is with all the so- <gasps> Our CPU usage is 70%. Now, in fairness, we have Doom Eternal running in the background, but Doom Eternal is taking up 40%. There is so much software running on this computer to make everything work. It's insane. Doom Eternal's down to 35%. Our CPU just stays at 70% no matter <laughs> what. It just gives Doom Eternal whatever's left over. But it looks good. Yeah, all right. Let's game. Let's game. Doom time, baby. Oh, our CPU usage is 8%, which means it probably crashed. Oh, it might have. Okay, so I just gotta switch my primary display though, real quick, Styles here. Wow, you know what? This one's actually a lot less laggy. This one's running off the internal. Oh, that's probably why Doom crashed, because it's running through the iGPU, yes. which does work, by the way. You can use your dedicated GPU through the DisplayPort connection of your integrated GPU, but you know. <laughs> The GPU was hovering around 30, 35%, and there's no games open. <laughs> what is up with that? <laughs> oh, I guess we could look at the Linus one now if you want. Oh, sure. Here we go, load profile, meme face. Yay. I put the intro. Are you proud of me? Oh, wow. Got a parallax clock and everything. Yep. And that's like rain falling. It's really great. Sad Linus is really sad. And it's 407 somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a big clock. That it's oh, it's 1407. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy it booted first try. You mentioned that there were a lot of screens we didn't end up integrating. What kind of screens did we have? We had some skinnier ones that we were going to throw around in all over the place. And the problem is, is they would work on their own. Yeah. But the hybrid of mixing certain screens with certain USB, with certain adapters, this is what I could get working. Got it. So your mileage may vary if you wanted to add as many screens as possible. Let's try Counter-Strike. No, no, we're good. We're good. Play anyway. Here we go. I think this computer is... Oh. <gasps> yes. Oh. Counter-Strike 2. <laughs> Can you even hit the play button? Oh my goodness. Uh, hmm. Play. Oh, here we go, here we go, oh, yes. here we go. Uh, casual. Dust 2. Go. Yes. All right, we got this. If I can get a kill, what do I get? Oh, firstborn child. Sure, done. Oh. Dang it. I'm lined right up in my tunnel vision. If anything, you should be Tunnel's more shape. accurate now because it has to be in the center. Zero distraction. Holy crap, okay. I can't see my peripheral. Is this, okay, up, up. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a jump scare. <laughs> so scary. I'd love it if your teammates could see what resolution you're playing at. So when they spectate you, it just shows this. Oh, that would be <laughs> They would look like, what is going on? Is this dude playing vertical on a oh, phone? On, yeah. <laughs> can't even see the muzzle. My crosshair is the entire width of my display. <laughs> You're playing so, you know, passive. Get in there. Dude, I can't see for shit. Am I even holding a gun? I'm not sure. Don't be such a coward. Go. <laughs> 438 damage in one hit. Oh, man. That's basically this computer in a nutshell. And this is our sponsor in a nutshell. Cable Mod. Their Stealth Sense cables eliminate the need for sense wires that run from your GPU to your power supply. Instead, the connector uses a hidden bridge to tell the GPU that up to 600 watts of delicious pulp-free juice is ready to be slurped. The juice is electricity. Using this hidden bridge instead of a sense wire means there's no tiny fragile sense pins in the cables which can dislodge themselves at the slightest provocation. And that's good news because dislodged pins can lead to issues like 100% fan utilization or black screens which make it much harder to see what your PC is doing and make it sound like a Boeing 747 taking off. So stop compromising on your cables. Get peak performance, higher reliability, and cleaner aesthetics with Cable Mod's Stealth Sense cables. You can check them out on Amazon or at Cable Mod's own website linked down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, why not check out the opposite of it? The easiest gaming PC build. We used an NZXT case that had that same handy, just like one brick plugs in all your front panel connectors and everything. It was, it was, it was a lot easier. What a stupid build.